So here we have the Seat Leon Estate on a 19 plate. I'm going to start off by hopping in and running through some controls on the car first of all. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, and on the right-hand side, the speedometer. In the middle, you can see there's a digital readout for the speedometer uh, for the car. You can change the information that's displayed there using buttons on the steering wheel. We're on the driving data menu at the moment, so you can have any of these pieces of information displayed there, but there are other menus available as well. Uh, so you can see those along the top. They include satellite navigation, audio, your phone, and eventually... Uh, back around to the beginning again, uh, which we went past just here. We back out to the steering wheel. On the left-hand side, we have stereo controls, and on the right-hand side, the buttons I was using just a moment ago. Just behind the steering wheel, we have the minus and plus paddle. That is so that you can change gear manually with this automatic gearbox. And just briefly back in the center there, the total miles for the car are 24,828. Over in the center, we have the touch screen for the car. So you can go back to the main menu from here, uh, you can access your radio if you wish, uh, and you'll see this car has got DAB and FM radio. If you want to listen to your own music, you can do, uh, and there are plenty of ways in which you can do that, and they're all being displayed on the screen now. They include Bluetooth audio, so once you pay your phone, not only will you be able to make and receive phone calls, you'll also be able to stream your music wirelessly as well. And then back to the home screen here, we have satellite navigation, which is accessed just there. There's a full video showing how that works on our website and our YouTube channel. And then telephone is paired under the telephone heading there. Working away down from that, we have dual zone climate control. So you can turn it on by adjusting the fans. You can continue to adjust them up and down from there. You can adjust the driver and passenger temperatures. You can um, determine where you'd like the air to be distributed once it enters the car. When you're happy with those settings, the air conditioning is on at the minute, so off, back on again, or hit auto. The car will now maintain the temperatures you've asked for by taking full control of the fan speed for you. You can override that whenever you wish. This car's also got a heated driver's seat and passenger seat, both with three different heat settings each. Underneath that section, we have this storage area. We then have the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox, along with an electronic handbrake and auto hold function. All that leads me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.